What's up, everybody? Welcome to Scoops TV. I'm Dale, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Benchmade 430BK Recontour Griptilian. I mean, 430BK Redoubt. Stay tuned. If you haven't been to this channel before, welcome. We are your one-stop channel for outdoor gear, survival gear, and knife reviews. We also take requests, but I am putting that on hold for the moment. It will be back soon. Let's check this thing out, shall we? All right, the Benchmade 430 BK Redoubt. All right, nice looking knife. Starting at the back here, we have an interestingly designed, extremely deep carry clip. I mean, that thing is going to sit so far down in your pocket, no one's going to see it. I actually really like this idea and hope they integrate it more in the future. Moving forward, we have a construction screw and the elongated lanyard hole. I've been saying that lanyard holes are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but I am clearly wrong in this case. This thing is long and girthy. All over the middle and the top and the other side on this kind of back strap, we have the checkered raised grip texture. It's not too aggressive, feels nice in the hand. Moving forward, you can see the gray Grivery scales on either side and up front here. We have the axis locking hardware in black Altogether, I like the scales and the handle to reiterate. I really like this deep carry clip Which is reversible in case you're a lefty by the way now. Let's check out the blade the blade opens via thumb stud to reveal a 3.5 inch black drop point in CPM V2 with a flat grind. We know the drop point as a common all purpose blade design that emphasizes increased tip strength when compared to other common blade designs. This quality is achieved by the increased thickness of the spine behind the tip here. CPM D2 is Crucible Industries version of D2. Using their proprietary CPM method, Crucible claims they can increase the quality of the steel. Now, D2 is the OG of high speed tool steels in knife blade manufacturing. It was one of the first used, and back then, it was one of the best available. But since then, we have come a long way in knife steel engineering. So the choice to use D2 is a bit of a mystery to me. That being said, it's an all around good steel. Wear resistance is relatively good. Toughness is good. Edge retention is good. And corrosion resistance is not so good. So you will have to keep your knife clean and dry. Starting at the back here, we have a flat top, no jimping. Then we have the dome thumb studs. Then about a quarter inch later, our swedge starts and runs all the way down through the drop to the point. We have our very sharp tip, swings around through the edge, the front, the back, ending with a long, high clearance sharpening choil. Ergonomics are surprisingly good. No hot spots to speak of. The knife feels comfortable and usable in large hands. Fit and finish are also good. It is a Benchmade Black class, so it looks nice. What we've come to expect from Benchmade. Overall, the knife is 8 0.29 inches and 3.71 ounces. For some quick size comparisons, we have a Spyderco PM3. You can see it is a larger knife. We have a Benchmade Mini Adamas and a Benchmade Freak. I think you can get a good size comparison from those three. All right, everybody, that's the 430BK readout. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.